one, I want to begin this lesson giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Chakadash, Yahweh be the true name of our Heavenly Father, who this word ignorantly calls God. Yahweh Shah be the true name of our Lord and Savior, who this word ignorantly calls Jesus, Bahashem in the name. Rechah Kodash is through the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the to our apostles and elders. A great millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. And back again with another lesson through the Spirit of Power. Yahweh Bashmal Shah. You know, just doing a in transit. Before I go uh, to the plantation, it's something I was uh, thinking about, or more so meditating on, uh, is you know us being in these last days. Ultimately, us being at the end, all right, hey, we have to keep fighting, man. I right, pray to Yahweh Bashmal Shah, hey, that He keeps His Holy Spirit upon us, man, and we continue to fight, okay? Because especially again, as we um head closer to the end there's going to be more demons messing with you uh, there's going to be more things or more distractions trying to pull you away from this word man from the truth all right and we have to pray and i'm speaking to myself first and foremost we have to continually pray to the lord to keep our spirit okay like it says in psalms the 51st chapter man you know praying to the lord to you know cast not thy holy spirit you know away from from us man that we gonna need it <laughs> you know the book of uh isaiah the 33rd chapter okay the sixth verse what does it say it says for wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times man hey the wisdom and knowledge of these scriptures man all right through the spirit of power yabash is going to keep us stable okay but what i really was meditating on is you know you got these distractions you got these demons okay and we have to Make sure we always remember, all right, what's the goal, all right? We always have to remember, you know, what's at the end of this thing, man. We're not always going to be in Babylon, man. We're not always going to be in this lower state, okay? That's why we owe, hey, we have to count ourselves joy, all right, when we are being chastised by the Lord, man, okay? When the Lord is pulling us through these hardships, all we can do is endure because that's what the scripture says, man. Okay, endure hardness as a good soldier. Okay, us being the soldiers for Yahweh Shah, and we gotta endure hardness. Sirach, the second chapter, whatever. Um, you know, um, what does it say? Sirach, chapter two, says, "If thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thyself for temptation." Okay, you know, um, to keep going down the list. You know, uh, make not haste when I change to. especially for the time. 
physically. Nah, we want to be prepared spiritually, man. Okay? Because again, the wisdom and knowledge of these scriptures, if you have them equipped, yeah, you're going to be stable in these times, man. Alright? You know, the Heavenly Father did send his men in these latter times to live luxurious, um, what's that word? Luxury. Luxury. Uh, I'm trying to say, you know, basically a luxury life, man. Okay? We're not supposed to be put on the pedestal of uh, some of these people in society, man. All right? The Lord, you know, again, bringing us into this truth. And when you truly understand hey, what this word is about and what this ministry is about, this ministry is really about suffering. seventh chapter okay i will bear the indignation of the lord because i have sinned against him and what is the indignation which is the righteous hate the righteous the righteous hatred of the heavenly father all right on the right side okay and that's what we're doing in this truth okay especially when it comes to funds man all right or women the lord ain't really the lord ain't make the men of the lord to be ladies men on this side man that's gonna come we understand it's going to be a time and place for everything, man. All right, let's speak about riches, okay? The true riches are what? The true, the real riches is this knowledge, okay? It tells you that in Matthew, the 13th chapter, man, all right? How, uh, what is that, Matthew chapter, uh, Matthew chapter 13, I think, 44, you know, a man found a treasure in the, in the field, and he go and sell all that he had that he may attain that treasure, and that's what this truth is. But when you go on, or if you want to go on a different scale, okay, real money is what? Gold and silver. You know, when we're talking about Babylon's monetary system, okay? And these Federal Reserve notes, hey, they're going to do away with the dollar very soon, man. There's going to be a point in time where, hey, people are going to literally wipe their asses with dollars. That's what's going on in Venezuela right now, man. All right? So, if you want to, uh, if you want to keep your riches, the ultimate goal for you of doing that is to take the Karatno, which is the mark of the beast, all right? Uh, according to Revelation, the 13th chapter and the 16th verse, man. All right, so that's why we got to gird up our loins, man. Gird up our mind, man. We have to be 100% fully persuaded on what and we're reading, okay? We, we understand that, hey, it's going to get real. It's going to get real tough out here, man, especially, you know, with your job. Hey, brother, they going to... They gonna uh, mandatory uh, decree that you're gonna have to take the karagma in order to go to work, all right? Or eat food, or I should like not eat, but buy food. You know, go to your job again. You know, pay these certain bills. You're gonna have to be in that. You know, you're gonna have to be in that spirit. That's what W E F said, man. All right, you're gonna have to have a microchip implanted under the skin in order to maintain or survive in society. Okay, so this is why this is the, what does it say in the book of Micah, chapter 2, verse 10? It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, man. And that arise ye and depart, what is that? That's, that's really spiritually, man. You have to spiritually arise and depart from Babylon the Great, which is America. All right, the spirit of this place, man. Okay, what does it say in uh, Hebrews, the 13th chapter, and the 14th verse? It says, For we have no continuous city. But we seek for one to come okay so we have no continuous city all right we're, we're, we're pilgrims and that's what we're gonna be that's what it says in second ezra 16 and the 40th chapter uh, and then those evils be as pilgrims upon the earth and evils what evils is going into bad times and bad times are coming okay so you know when you and that's why what second peter the third, the third chapter says man all right it says, uh, knowing that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation, all holy conversation and godliness, man? And that word man is going to what manner? So like it's going into what your 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 way of life, man. All right, what what are you talking about? What are you concerned upon, man? What is your mind really on, man? If your mind is really on your fucking job, man, you're gonna take that chip. Okay, if your mind is on, you know, you, you know, trying to take care of your family. This is what you think in your mind that, hey, taking care of your family, doing A, doing B. If you think, if that's what your mind is really on, hey, you're going to take that chip, man. All right? Because the Lord is going to protect his men. All right? There's going to be even some children and women. All right? And you got the one third that's going to be saved, man. 
man. So if you really want to save your family, but hey, what does it say? It says to what? Work out thy, uh, work out thy own salvation. Okay. So you got to work out your own salvation. So before you think about the next person, you got to think about yourself, man. Okay. And the only way to do that is by serving the Lord, man, and not taking that chip. Okay. Repeat. Do not take the RFID microchip, man. All right. Because hey, that's what's coming. You know. So you know, it was just a few things, and I'm just flowing through the spirit early morning as I'm going to, as I'm going, you know, to the to the job, the job. You know, me and the brothers joke around. You know, massa. You know, because that's ultimately what it is, man. All right. Even though it's not some some people don't like you playing around with it all right because it's not the same hard bonded slavery that our forefathers and uh, foremothers served but this is still captivity like the book of baruch says man for we are yet this day that's the book of baruch the third chapter and i believe the eighth verse man it says for we are yet this day in our captivity man and that's speaking about you so-called negroes latinos and native americans man we are still being held captives until this day all right and we're truly going to be we are truly going to be sovereign all right or have sovereignty when our lord yahweh shah comes redeem redeem us lord when we be a part of the elect out of this hellhole man out of this madness that you call a country okay so you know again all right we're about to come into what we're about to come into these times man and we're already we already are in these times, whether people want to believe it or not, the time of uh, 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 Jacob's trouble. There's only one crisis or crises away, man. All right, we're already in a time where all hell is about to break loose, man. All it needs for no food to be on these shelves, and you truly going to see, you know, who these people are, man. Okay? All it takes is for your face to be plastered on the news, and they label you a terrorist, for you to truly see that your family ain't with you, man. Okay, so hey, the time is short. Like the Apostle Paul said many times, Romans the 13th chapter and 11th verse, it says, for our salvation. Hey, what does it say? For our salvation. It. it says, it is a high time to wake out of sleep, for our salvation is nearer than we believe, man. Okay, and those words are comforting, man, for the hopeful elect. Those are comforting words, right? Uh, Romans, you know, one of my favorites. Romans chapter 16. I shall like it. Uh, Romans chapter 14. Uh, I like it. Yep, what is the book of Romans says, man? It says, a for a thing, for uh, things written a four time were written for our learning. That we through comfort of the scriptures might have hope for the things that are written aforetime was for us, man.